Hey guys, my name is Taranjit and I'm not a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. If you're wondering where was I, unfortunately, my mother is not doing very well. So I had to go and travel to India to take care of her. Fingers crossed she's out of danger now. I'm back in the UK. Markets, money, those were the last things on my mind. So I was not really worried about anything. A lot of profits I had made were kept in UST. I was caught really, really badly in the UST Luna saga. Whenever I got time, I kept buying the dip of Luna. Yes, I have some airdrops, but I have actually lost a lot of money. But hey guys, after caring for my mother, after looking at what a near death experience is, I really don't think these things matter at all. It is what it is. I'm not bothered at all. I'm really, really glad that this bear market has come because I can really focus on projects that will survive all of this, will survive this bear market, will survive multiple bear markets, DCA into my positions. Obviously, you guys know my largest position is DOT. I have increased that position. I picked a lot of DOT around these levels here. By the way, guys, these are all high Ashi candles. Yeah, it's not looking pretty. All I can say is that bodies of these candles are becoming smaller and smaller, kind of suggesting to me that the bottom is in. However, it can go down further depending upon how the macroeconomic global conditions and our favorite Fed responds to the increasing cost of living. I personally don't think Bitcoin is going down to the levels of 22, 23k. Just above that, there will be a lot of margin calls, including many of the positions of Michael Saylor. If it happens, it will be catastrophic. Many, many projects will die. I don't think Bitcoin will die. Bitcoin is solid money. Bitcoin is a long term money. In fact, I would go on to extent of saying that Bitcoin is the only sound money we have on this planet. So what are the coins that I'm buying? What are the coins I'm dollar cost averaging? Last time I made these videos, I had about 30% dot in my portfolio. Now I have increased that portfolio to 40%. So I'm really, really heavy into Polkadot. Now, this is a danger. You should never have all your eggs in one basket, even though I have a lot of dot, but if it actually drops to this line here to below $7, I'll buy more. Now, today's video is not really about giving you overview about projects. It's just the things that I have bought in this bear market. Again, my own personal opinion, not financial advice. These videos are for entertainment purposes only because I'm so heavy into the dot ecosystem. So I've also bought Akala. I've also bought Moonbeam. However, big YouTubers like Superman are now making videos on Moonbeam. When big YouTubers start making videos on something, that is the time to stop buying. I was making Akala videos, Moonbeam videos a long time ago before any mainstream YouTubers picked up but now they have, I would say stop buying them. If you have been following these so many big YouTubers, still your portfolios are so down, you need to ask yourself, are you really watching the right content? Look no further, this is the channel. This is the channel for long term. This is the channel that will survive all the bear markets. I had set myself a five year goal thanks to this bear market. I think I can revise that target of financial independence to four years now. Now, because I'm so heavily into dot ecosystem, I found a competitor to polka dot ecosystem, and that is the Cosmos ecosystem. Now, Cosmos, I have made a detailed video a long time ago on Atom and Cosmos, the interoperability of blockchain. I will leave a link in the description if you want to watch that video. As I said, today's video is not about detailed project overview. Atom is at a dumpster price levels at the moment all-time highs of more than $44 and now sitting only at $9 so there is a juicy 4x to its all-time high which I think Cosmos ecosystem will survive not only this bear market but also multiple other bear markets so the first token that I picked a lot is Atom and I staked it immediately on Kepler wallet if you want me to teach you how to use Kepler wallet leave me some comments and I'll make a tutorial video on Kepler Wallet. The second uh, coin that I picked from this ecosystem is Juno. Many, many of my friends were buying Juno when it was in 20, it was in 30s. Now Juno has dropped to below $5, which is a bargain of century. 
Also, the APYs on Juno staking is more than 100%. So if you have 10 Juno staked on Kepler wallet, you will get 10 Juno at the end of the year. I think this is a win-win situation. The next coin in this ecosystem that I bought a significant position is the Secret Network. Again, sitting at dumpster levels at $1.4 it was in the bull market it was above seven dollars so again that is a juicy 5x if it ever goes back to its previous all-time high levels again guys these coins can go down to zero nothing is guaranteed but i am super confident about these tokens going back to their all-time highs so the next token that i was buying in the bear market is the secret network all of these can be bought on osmosis uh, decentralized exchange on cosmos ecosystem again if you are interested in knowing how i use the osmosis decks leave a comment and i'll make a tutorial video last year there was a big hype about metaverse a big hype about play to earn play and earn video games i think this is a fantastic time all of this hype has died and the projects that are really building will actually succeed so the golden blue chips here are decentralized mana blocktopia illuvium however one sleeping giant here is penguin cards the 3d mint is coming soon if you stake about 2000 penguin cards which is only a few couple of hundred dollars you will be qualifying for a free 3d mint that you can either use it in the game or you can rent it out to other players for passive income so this to me penguin cards is one of my biggest bets I will make a video one year from now all these prices that I have discussed in this video let's review them in a year I am super confident although not financial advice but I think these all projects have ability to reach their all-time highs nothing is guaranteed by the way guys Luna used Cosmos uh, SDK which is software development kit Binance used uh, Cosmos SDK many many big blockchains the Kronos crypto.com they all use Cosmos SDK so Cosmos ecosystem is going nowhere and a new project in Cosmos ecosystem is FMOS I picked up a decent amount of this project also the APYs are close to thousand percent so if you use Kepler wallet you will get thousand percent APYs and i am immediately transferring it into usdc i used to believe in usd no more algorithmic stable coins i bled i really really bled like many of you but it is okay i'm still alive you are still alive look around your family i just witnessed my mother close to a near-death experience when you are lying on that bed these things will not matter i promise you for me all these losses meant nothing i was just focused caring for my mother and i will be in that position one day every one of us will die one day so the fact that you are alive look at your family look at your friends be happy it's fine everything's gonna be fine finally i want to leave you with this thought no one times the top no one times the bottom so if bitcoin goes to 22k yeah okay maybe i have uh, paid over the board for some of these projects that i talked however if it doesn't then this might be the bottom i am okay with it i'm okay with my investments going down because i don't think of those in monetary terms i'm just my whole goal is to increase my portfolio increase the number of tokens and i am ready i am ready for the next bull run and i hope this bear market lasts longer because a lot of noise has been shut out if you look at my views they're down which is fine but if you're watching this video congratulations it means you are here for the long term that's all i have to say and i'll see you in the next video